Michael Thilson Thomas was a protege of Leonard Bernstein. And toward the end of the New York Philharmonic Young People's Concerts, Leonard Bernstein gave Michael those television broadcasts. So Michael was still in his 20s, and he was trying to understand how you would make an orchestra big and bright, compelling, on a television screen. So from his youngest professional days, he was already thinking broadcast, how you put it out electronically. Little did he know, he was going to help define the digital future in this building. When we arrived here, there had been, we've, as we opened this building in January of 2011, there had been a good bit of broadcasting over the years, but the puzzle was how do you make this compelling if you've got television speakers that are the size of a half dollar and you have a, a television screen that is relatively small. Compared to the generous sort of presentation of an orchestra in a performance hall. And it occurred to us, again, the public-private partnership driving us here, it occurred to us that with all the cameras that we envisioned in the hall that we were going to use to capture a number of educational performance activities, we could also bring that to the world, at least to the public, using the, front, the primary facade of the building. So it was Michael's early days and then all of the television and all of the online work that he's done even up through today that was he was the visionary we had the great good fortune of finding Clyde Scott who has run our video we hired him when we were still in the Lincoln Theater and working with only four cameras uh, and he was using a joystick which is uh, rather primitive when you look at our current setup. He was using a joystick to switch those cameras. So we had the good fortune of finding Clyde and the staff who are in charge of bringing these concerts forward who were able to quickly adapt to what to the different environment. It is very different to set chairs and play to a public and to set chairs and be ready to be captured with cameras. So the flexibility of the staff the ability to imagine a better videographic representation that is part of this staff, it's been amazing to watch them pull this all together. <coughs> what, what we've discovered is that the changes, the moves that you make over the course of an entire wall cast are critical. If you can find the visual moments and that means the moment when you know the conductor is going to look across the orchestra at the horns to invite them to play. Or the moment when all the strings turn to the concert master because that cue is going to be the primary cue. Not necessarily what the conductor is doing, but what that concert master is doing and all eyes go up. If you can catch that moment, it's like you be, you're part of the inside conversation of the orchestra. That's going on every concert all the time, but you didn't realize it until the cameras could get close enough to find it. Compelling story. Jeffrey Kahane was here to play Mozart Piano Concerto last season. It was wall cast. He's in the cadenza of the third movement. He finishes that cadenza, which has this wonderful little give back to the winds. He plays a melody, they bring it out of the cadenza, and they repeat that melody. As he finished the cadenza, he looked to the winds and he smiled. The camera at the base end of the keyboard picked up the smile. It was wall cast to the park, and the park went, ooh, and the magic was made. So we've found this new level of reveal. We found another way to tell the story of the music. It, it actually it doesn't get in the way of the music, it enhances the music. All of a sudden you're part of the musician as well as part, being part of the music and that understanding we think is what drives two and three thousand people per Saturday into this park to, to be part of this music and to enhance their life, enjoy the, to, to make their life even richer. We think it's a, a really big deal looking, to, looking on into the long... We think it's a really big deal as you contemplate the future of the art form.